here at Sean Golden, Chief Economist here in Limerick Chamber. Um, I think, you know, very significant budget, the biggest package to date, 11 billion euro. But I have to ask you, who and what do you think was left out of this budget? I think, uh, firstly, you know, we welcome any measures that are, I suppose, targeted at tackling the cost of living increases that we've seen, especially from a business perspective. So the temporary business energy support scheme was announced yesterday. So what that means that if a business's costs have increased or the unit costs has increased by 50%, that they can get 40% back on the increase. Now, something that we've been seeing from members over the last while is quite significant increases in their energy costs. So we were talking to uh, somebody that works in the hospitality sector that's a member of ours and their energy price this year compared to last year increased by €130,000. So, you know, it's, it's year to date. So I'm smiling, but it's a lot of money. Um, so I did like a, a quick calculation on that to see how much money it would cost them on a monthly basis. And they'll still be liable for maybe something like eight grand a month. So, you know, on businesses that are operating on tighter margins, like those in the hospitality sector or bakeries or restaurants, you know, the government scheme will go a long way to helping them, but it's also very hard for them to survive on such tight margins. Um, I think it was kind of a it was kind of a late late show budget. There was one for everyone, you know. Um, I think people that might feel a bit left out are those people that are kind of in around the average median income, people that are renting, people trying to buy houses. Now I know there's the five hundred uh, rental credit, which is good and it's welcome, but if you look at the kind of average costs in around the Midwest for a home to rent, it's about a grand, you know, depending on where you are. So it won't go a very long way if you're trying to save for a mortgage deposit. It's not going to really add a lot to you. Um, but at the same time, it's better than nothing as well. So I think those people might feel a bit left out. You know, if you're on 35,000 a year with the movement of the tax bands, you might see an extra 190, 200 euro, um, which wouldn't even buy a box of cigarettes a week. So I, I don't think... I don't think those people, you know, the people that don't have kids or the people that, you know, don't require medical cards or something like that, those people might feel a bit left out. Um, and, you know, even with all the increases that came, inflation is hitting such a high point that theoretically we're probably all losing money anyway. Um, but, you know, the government at the same time can't chase inflation, which is an issue. Um, but I think for businesses, you know, if you're you're in a good place with business if you know, one of the things you've issues with is staff because you have the demand, you're getting out there. Um, now, it's not a, a nice position to be in, but at least it's some sort of a good indicator. But I think getting into the winter is really where we're going to see the viability of businesses and how well they can cope because, you know, we've had pretty benign weather so far this year and we've seen massive increases in costs. So when you think of, you know, October to December, January, when the weather is pretty bad, that's when it's really going to be key. And that's why we would ask the government for the, the TBESS is that it's under continuous review to make sure there's enough funding there and to make sure the time periods suit businesses as well. But at the end of the day, it's it's welcome and it's it's better than nothing.